Hello and welcome back to TG TV and more specifically welcome back today to a very sunny Goodwood motor circuit. Today I'm here with Alpine cars and we are taking out some cars on the track. We've got a load of historic models. Oh, here we go. Right on cue, look at that. We have a blue uh, A110 there, ladies and gentlemen, and we have a grey A110 just heading out on the track there. So today I'm with Alpine cars. Anyway, we have got all their latest cars, the A110, uh, all uh, variants of it. And we have some historic models here today as well. I'm gonna get some track time, all sorts of bits and bobs going on. I don't quite know what I'm gonna film yet, uh, but I'll make something up. Archie is on his way, I think, in the Jimny as well. So we might even get some track time together round here in a manual Alpine A110, which should be good, good fun. Anyway, I don't actually know where he is. He says he's coming in the Jimny. I haven't seen the Jimny in weeks. Who knows at this point? Anyway, 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 I'm gonna take you look. I'm gonna take you round now. I'm gonna have a little look at some of the cars. Alpine cars then, so a lot of my audience, I'm aware, will probably just want to see Lambos revving and all sorts of stuff and drive throughs uh, but some of you may be interested in Alpine, so I'm going to give this a go anyway. Alpine cars was founded in 1955 and they were actually bought by Renault, I believe, in 1970 something. So they've been closely linked to Renault anyway throughout their existence. They ceased production of cars, uh, racing and street cars in 1995. And recently in 2017, they re-released the A110, their kind of iconic model, the, the model that most people remember Alpine for in a modern guise. So that is the car that we see here. And that's the car they launched recently. That is the car that uh, Seb Delaney has and the car that people are ranting and raving about. And that's the car I'm gonna be driving today. But there are some historic models here as well. So I'm gonna take you around and have a little look at those. Because uh, it is a cool brand, a really, really cool brand. It's a bit more tasteful than the usual stuff on my channel. Um, so I thought, why not give it a go? So we've got Alpines from throughout the years here. This is uh, A110, unless I'm mistaken, but with racing livery all over it. Again, I'm a bit of an ignorant pig, so I don't actually really know everything about all of these cars. And um, those that know will know, and they'll think it's cool to see this. So that's the main thing. Does it super cool. I like spotlights. I like those a lot. Sick. Uh, this is actually a Le Mans edition, which I'm told is extremely rare. It's one of only 20 something cars ever which is chaos uh it's got this kind of coke bottle shape really really cool and this kind of uh glass rear deck here and you can see the le mans on there but to have two of them in the same place at the same time is bonkers and i was speaking to the chap earlier actually and he was saying that he actually had uh four adults in this all the way back from the south of france so it's actually got back seats he referred to it as a, a french 911 which i think is pretty accurate so it's a v6 turbo i believe it's got these amazing deep dish wheels here it's just, it's just so cool, so, so cool. And I've never seen a Le Mans edition on the road before, and to have two of them together is bedlam. Anyway, yeah, it's a V6 turbo, there we go. Super cool anyway, I am a big fan of this, and I like the colour as well. Practical car too, some luggage space. So coming around, again, you're all going to be screaming at me in the comments, those that are in the know, I'm sure there's a huge amount to say about all these cars, um, but hey, I don't know. I don't know. It's cool though. I'm just going to show you around. I like the wide arch kit on that. That's that's what I'm offering there. A110 again. I recognise these. When I was growing up, actually, my first introduction to Alpine, my neighbour actually had a blue one of these, and he also had one of these as well. So my first kind of introduction to sports cars were actually Alpine cars, which was chaos. I had no idea at the time. I had no idea what was going on. I probably had more of an idea then than I do now. But it's just a cool brand, to be fair. So I've just been whisked away then. A lovely uh, French young lady has just told me that it's now time to do some hot laps around the track. This is a chance to see what the cars can do in the hands of a professional racing driver. Someone that knows what they're doing and that we can really get the most out of these cars. I also have a special guest. He's over there waffling away. Mr. Dean Redline is here today. So I've come with Dean. And if you don't know about Dean Redline, you need to get to know about Dean Redline. Dean Redline is not his name. Uh, he is Dean at Redline Specialist Cars. Dean is the uh, protagonist in many of my car purchases. And Dean is the guy that sells all of my cars. All my cars end up with Dean. Uh, he's just a great guy. I'll leave the Redline's website below anyway. You can check out the stock because there's some bonkers stuff on there, including some Alpines. He has sold many of these cars, uh, including a black one, which I'm reliably informed 
black Alpine A110s make up about two or three percent of the overall market. So a very, very rare car. Anyway, we've got off track. Now then, now then, time for a hot lap, my lad. Yeah, hurry, my lad. Let's chatter. Hot laps now, my lads. Hot laps. Yeah. Get ready to miss that air. Really exciting. Mmm. Mm. So the hot lap is actually going to be in this cup car, which is uh, mayhem. The car's being prepared now. Roll cage, the lot. And I'm in my helmet. Helmet in a helmet. It's time to jump in the road going car. There you go. Hi, mate. Yeah. Hi. You ready? Do you know what you're doing? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. I'm okay. Gonna, I'm going to fire it into a wall. <laughs> <laughs> I will also be going out just finding a car and my helmet. I'll put the GoPro in the car as well so you guys can come along and watch my uh, beautiful driving. So that then was my fairly haphazard uh, first drive in the Alpine A110. It's about 1.3 tonnes with all fluids and everything on board. Uh, it's powered by a 1.8 turbocharged 16 valve engine, I believe, with about 250 brake horsepower. Um, so very lightweight, very nimble, and I think it's a 90 or percent uh, aluminium uh, chassis tub thing. I'm not a technical guy, but basically it's a very lightweight, very maneuverable, very fun car with a lot of torque. Uh, and it's just it's just very agile and the emphasis on this car is fun and it's also a lot lot quicker than I uh, suspected it would be um, it's got a lot of punch and it's got a lot of mid-range because of the turbocharger a lot of fun anyway this circuit as well is absolutely ideal for that car it's very twisty lots of flowing bits it's great uh, if you get a chance to come out in one of these I suggest you do it I've been wondering for a while what all the buzz about Alpine cars is and now I get it, I finally get it. So there we go then, a really, really good day anyway. I tried to capture as much of the bits and bobs going on as possible. Um, I appreciate this kind of uh, track stuff. Probably isn't as exciting for you guys as it is for the person doing the driving. It's very hard to get across um, kind of the, the exciting nature of it all. So I do my best. I do my best. Uh, but anyway, I think that is pretty much all I've got time for. I am going to be borrowing one of these cars at some point, uh, taking out of London, uh, the usual, uh, and also maybe doing some driving and some country roads and all the rest of it. So some real world stuff with one. Um, so I've been having conversations. There'll be one winging its way to me very, very soon. And to be honest with you, 
this is the sort of car that would be ideal to take to um, on the south of France trip we do every year the, the Monaco trip and other trips I've got planned as well so if I get wound up I might end up uh, adding one to the collection uh, as I always end up doing in one way or another anyway thank you so much for watching do give me a thumbs up subscribe blah 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 leave a comment go and abuse me on Instagram and all the rest of it and I'll see you all actually one final thing so just as a bit of bonus footage then I couldn't not film this they are now lining up all the Alpine generations of cars on the home straight here at Goodwood uh, for what, kind of the finale photo so if I if I possess the requisite technology to get that photo on the screen, I'll pop that on the screen very, very shortly. But it's so cool to see all the generations. Hello, Mr. Bartle. Hello, sir. Hello. I don't know what that accent was. Um, but yeah, all the generations are here. Leading up to the modern day. So we have the modern iteration from 2017 onwards and we have the original there. So, so cool. And it's interesting to see the two together, not only obviously the same color, uh, but to see how true to form they kept both cars, the styling cues from both of the cars uh, carried across. Super, super cool. And there was actually um, a modern iteration earlier, A110, with this kind of center chrome stripe on it as well, which I believe might be an option. Who knows at this point? But really, really cool to have them all here. I just thought I'd throw this in because it's never probably again that this will be seen. Good, and we have the photographers up here standing on a van. All the way up here, lots of A110s in blue. Um, so I was speaking to one of the chaps here and he was saying uh, pretty much everyone who orders one of these cars orders it in blue, but there are now six color variants. Uh, we have gray available. There is a darker blue as well, which hopefully I'll be uh, driving around London in soon. There is a white, there is a red, uh, and I've missed some other colors, so shout at me in the comments because I missed that. But there are now six color options, but most people spec this kind of um, iconic, legendary blue. Ooh, look, it matches. That is chaos. And we've got a drone as well knocking around over there. So we're now all assembling. Archie, unfortunately, has gone home. I think he had some sort of a simulated drama. Oh, we should probably get the boat and shut up. As an extra, bonus so the already uh, bit of bonus footage i've added here we're going on a parade lap and this gentleman here has kindly offered me a ride in his gta v6 turbo le mans one of 26 cars was that all correct that's correct see i can retain information sometimes uh, super super rare car probably the first well definitely the first time i've ever been in one and it will probably be the last as well uh and probably the only time i'm ever going to see two of them together is uh, does this happen very often no <laughs> There's a no. no. So, and he knows what he's talking about. Simple no. Uh, so we're going to go on a parade lap anyway, and I'm going to just enjoy it. You'll uh, probably like the retro square plastic vibe that I've got going on on the dashboard. I like Graphic all of this. Hey? Have that is sick. So we're inside the car, and this car is what, 30 odd years old? Yeah, it will be next year, 30 years next year. 30 years next year, so it's uh, around the same age as me. I'm not going to give the game away. And as I mentioned before, we have back seats as well, and my luggage is in there. It's all very retro, super, super cool. Little Alpine logo on the steering wheel. And you've got the numbered badge there as well. Absolutely sick. Not the usual stuff on my channel, but I'm hoping you guys and girls will enjoy something with a bit of taste on the channel for once. This time that is actually the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed those uh, bonus pieces of footage. I didn't actually plan including those, uh, but it was just super cool and really nice to meet people that are actually uh, passionate, knowledgeable about kind of uh, cars from a bygone era and keeping the passion alive. And hopefully I've shared some of that with you. Uh, it makes a change to the usual kind of uh, just parading around in supercars and all the rest of it. It's Mr. been good. It's been good, hasn't it? Has it? We've learned really something good. today, Mr. Bartle. Yeah. For, uh, for once in a while, <laughs> we have actually learned something. So it's been a great day. So huge, huge thanks once again to Alpine, uh, Alpine, sorry. Yeah. I pronounced it correctly the whole way through the video and wrecked it in the, in the dying Alpine. seconds. Uh, and if you don't follow Dean on Instagram, yeah. make sure you go and do that. Uh, Dean Redline, I'll try and put the pop-up on the screen if I can work out how to do that. See you all very, very soon. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Bye.